Welcome to the Acupuncture Outsider Podcast. My name is Richard Hazel, and in the time it takes for you to commute to or from work, I hope to have shared something of interest about orthopedic acupuncture using motor points, trigger points, myofascial slings, uh, neurofunctional acupuncture, segmental treatments, anything that crosses my mind that seems to be of interest. I hope you'll enjoy it. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Acupuncture Outsider. This is Richard Hazel and uh, frequently I get messages from people asking me for uh, recommendations for maybe a book that they can buy. Like they'll say, oh, you know, I'm getting started in in more orthopedic acupuncture. I just graduated. I want to get better at orthopedics. Um, Do you have any books you can recommend? And, you know, I do, I recommend, you know, the Peroto book for uh, motor point location. I'll, re- uh, I'll recommend the um, assessment and treatment of, of uh, muscle imbalances. I think it's uh, Paige is one of the co-authors. It's the Yonda approach. Um, I do recommend some books, but I have to say that in our world, you really you really need to learn from videos. You really need to learn from live courses and videos because the human body is three-dimensional and there's just nothing in a book that can duplicate um, watching somebody, for instance, do an orthopedic assessment. Um, So as much as we like to have references, you know, because there you are in the clinic and you're, you want to look something up, right? Um, that you know hopefully you you have found some of those references but as far as learning if you for your education for your understanding of concepts and um, things like orthopedic assessment and explanations of rehab and maybe corrective exercises you really will do better with videos and i think a lot of people are very visual in their memory, and I think you'll find that videos are more helpful for um, just just understanding, just really grasping the concepts. I think this is um, this is why live live seminars are so much better than, um, say, a podcast or <laughs> or um, you know something you're going to read in a blog or whatever. So um, so I want to talk a little bit uh, about my favorite sources my favorite resources and by the way if you're you know you're just out of school you're broke you're trying to start your own business um you know youtube has a lot of free information just you know just do some youtube searches you're going to find a lot and a lot of these people that that i like put out a lot of free content as well so um so actually just now I thought of one more uh, person that I want to uh, talk about that I totally had not expected that I would be talking about today. But so um, the, you know, when I, when I got out of school, I had, you know, basic understanding of manual muscle testing and Yonda's approach and upper cross, lower cross, motor point locations, things like that. I had the tools, but when I got tough cases, um, I was, I felt like I was really on my own. There was no, there were no Facebook groups for, for this. Um, I really had to kind of, uh, figure things out myself. And as I probably told, uh, people before I, you know, I used a lot of, um, Janet Travell's pain referral patterns as a good start. And then I'd read the chapters on those, on those muscles so I could get a better understanding of the muscles. And they, they always cover the basics of the origin insertion, innervation, things like that, um, basic symptoms. So that's very helpful. It's a good beginning. It's a good um, foundation uh, on, you know, the muscles and those pain referral patterns from trigger points, et cetera. Um, But then, you know, to get better at, um, you know, orthopedic assessment, I I highly recommend you look for um, 
a physical therapist, physiotherapist that you like. I, I am a big, big fan of uh, Brent Brookbush and his Brookbush uh, Institute online. Um, it is extensive. He's a doctor of physical therapy. You know, the, the thing is, um, if you're, if you insist on only learning from acupuncturists, you're really, I think limiting yourself because, um, none of us has the amount of time to recreate what someone like Brent Brookbush has created. Um, he has a website that is outrageous in detail. He has a he has everything that he says and writes. He puts the research. He he cites the research and shows you the research. And there are so many areas where you can hover over a term and then and then you can look at look it up in the glossary, or you know. And he cites the research. You can look at that research. He writes long articles that are. F- thoroughly researched. I mean, his research is extensive. So you can always drill down on what he's talking about and then look at the source and you can judge for yourself. It's not like he's saying anything outrageous. Um, but you know, that's how we learn, right? We get into something, we find more research. We, we find somebody else that, that wrote the research that we want to look into. We look them up. Um, it's, it's an excellent way to go. But besides that, Brent is an excellent educator and he does everything in video and a lot of his articles now he's doing with an audio companion. So you're on the site, you've got this um, article in front of you and then you can actually listen to it, um, the audio version. He has tons of videos of assessment. He does a lot of work with things like percussion massage, um, IASTM, uh, I think he does taping. He does corrective exercises, and then he has all these different courses that you can do. Um, what is that? What, his main his main course is the uh, human movement specialist, <clears throat> and you go through each um, each course to get the certificate. And it takes it'll take you a while. It's a lot a lot of information, but I wanted to talk um, quickly about one of the um, courses that I had recently come across the muscle fiber dysfunction and trigger points course, um, which I'm about halfway through, but there it's, it's thorough. It's very thorough. And I just wanted to read some of the, um, section names. The, there's introduction and definitions, of course, you know, define a trigger point, things like that. Then there's additional definitions, observable phenomenon and pathobiology, where he talks a little bit more about uh, muscle fiber dysfunction as an, like an umbrella topic. And, um, but then the rest of them are prevalence, when I'm talking about trigger points, um, trauma and pain, continuous low load activity as a, you know, possible source of, of trigger points. So they think that a lot of things like postural muscles in the neck are, and the trapezius are more prone to trigger points because they're constantly under a low load activity, you know, holding your head up, um, posture, eccentric, eccentric loading, myalgia, chemical changes correlated with trigger points, characteristic electric activity of trigger points when they're using EMG, um, nervous system adaptations, and then fibromyalgia and whiplash syndrome. That's, uh, that's 12 sections to just this one course on um, on muscle fiber dysfunction and trigger points. Highly, highly recommend looking into um, Brookbush Institute. It's just it's just brookbushinstitute.com. I'll put the link um, on the on the podcast. But huge fan of 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 cribbing off of his excellent work. Why recreate the wheel somebody has already done extensive extensive research and work to put up videos and courses and audio and and articles with citations research it's right there you know um if we're only learning from acupuncturists we're really limiting ourselves the, the you know we have these people 
like Brent Brookbush, who's, who have spent years creating uh, a website which is full of educational videos. So, and by the way, I get nothing. I get nothing from him. He probably he doesn't. I'm sure he doesn't know that I'm even saying any of this. So I'm I'm sincere in my uh, in my recommendation. It has I, there's I get zero from Brent Brookbush um, for saying this. It's just I just have to say it's like he's my go-to if I'm if I'm you know having any questions about anything. Oh, and he's a fan of Andrew Fleming too. Like after I found Andrew Fleming, I noticed that that. Um, Brent Brookbush also was into Andrew Fleming. I was so excited. I was like, you know, it's just so great to get that that sort of, I don't know, um, uh, confirmation that you you're on the right track. He he's a, he's a fan of Yonda. He's expanded on his on Yonda's concepts in in some of his things about upper cross or lower cross, but. You know, um, in many ways, he and I are so much on the same page that I, I just was had a natural affinity for his work because it would just it was completely um, in in line with how I like to look at things and and he backs everything up with the research, so it always makes me feel even better when I when I believe something. I see that Brent believes it, and he backs it all up with research without me having to do so. So if you're interested, if you're, especially if you're new and you want to get really good at orthopedics, learn from a doctor of physical therapy because they have spent like a lot of time studying human movement. And that's what we missed in our acupuncture education. So, you know, don't, don't just rely on acupuncturists to teach you this sort of thing. You know, we're, many of us um, have been doing this stuff for, for a while, but you know, there's really no replacing someone who's who's gotten a doctoral level in physical therapy and spent enormous amount of time on hum, human movement and rehab. Um, one other um, one other movement specialist that I'm a fan of um, is uh, Perry Nicholson. And he is um, a chiropractor who has a lot of other certifications and things um, related to movement and um, and treating pain. And his site is called Stop Chasing Pain. He's also on Instagram if you want to check him out. Um, so is Brent Brookbush. They're both on they're both on uh, social media. Um, look at look at uh, Perry Nicholson's. Um, work on stop chasing pain he is now i i i will jokingly say he's like um physical therapy goes to hogwarts because he mixes in a little bit more of the alternative medicine world uh, um that is not necessarily embraced um by science um but you know, if you really, if you dig that stuff, then you're gonna really like him. Um, I like him. I, he, he, like his. Here's here's the workshops he's doing right now: primal movement chains, blood flow mojo, glymphatic mojo events, lymphatic mojo, toe, uh, tongue mojo events, and vagus nerve mojo. He's really big on vagus nerve, vagus nerve simulation. He does a lot of Chapman points, reflexology, seems to be a lot of like um, osteopath sort of stuff, like liver pumping or spleen reset or pancreas resets. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a big um, fan of it. I've tried some of this stuff on myself just to see, you know, how, how I liked it. But, um, you know, if that's your thing, though, you're going to love him. Um, I did pay for his online um, lymphatic mojo, and I, I I really enjoyed it. I I enjoy at least understanding better how lymph um, affects chronic pain, um, and he had personal experience with that. So that's I think how he became really a big fan of of working with lymph, um, um, because of his own recovery um, where he was in a lot of chronic pain and someone 
showed him how to um, self-treat different areas of the body for improving lymphatic drainage or movement. So you might want to look at him, but you know what? He's solid on the orthopedic assessment. Um, if you just want to check him out for that, you know, go to his, uh, you have to pay for the content. It's not expensive. I don't know how much I pay. I, I, I keep my subscriptions with him and with Brent Brookbush, uh, Brookbush Institute, um, because they're just such excellent resources. Whenever you're, you're just thinking about something, um, you just want to get a better understanding or you want to get some confirmation, uh, of, of what you're thinking. Um, these guys are great. So he has a whole, he has whole sections on, you know, um, low back assessment and treatment, you know, ankle assessment and treatment. Um, here's this week's, um, pro, um, videos or courses. The first one's called kidney fascia self-release for back pain. The next one is called sternum and rib cage stimulation. Um, there's a pancreas reset, a spleen rebounding slash pumping, um, organ baking, working the medial tibia, and then sternocleidomastoid uh, reset. This, the SCM reset is very likely a vagus nerve thing. I know he's big on on um, gently um, stroking the the back border of the SCM to re, you know to stimulate the vagus nerve to calm for calming and for pain. Um, but he has lots of different sections. It's it's pretty extensive. You you might want to look into it. He has a whole thing on rock tape and, and taping. He has a whole thing on breathing, diaphragm, um, um, just different uh, movement, uh, primal movement, uh, kind of from the DNA world out of Prague school, that sort of um, the the primal movement patterns the the way the neurological system was supposed to be set up they believe some people um, didn't learn their primal movement patterns properly and have to relearn them so like I said it's it's a little bit it gets a little bit more into the alternative sphere which as acupuncturists I'm sure you're all comfortable with being there. Um, acupressure points and reflexology and things like that. So if you're more a fan of that, you should check out Perry Nicholson, um, stopchasingpain.com and check out his, uh, check out his Instagram to get an idea of what he's doing. You know, he does a lot of stuff for free. He gives a lot of good information for free. So the one person that I wasn't even expecting to mention, but that I should mention because I send links to his free YouTube videos all the time to people for postural stuff like um, stretching the lats and the pecs in the in a doorway for upper cross syndrome. Um, Jeff Cavalier, physical therapist, physical therapist of the stars. You know he he works with lots of pro athletes, like famous people, and he has a YouTube channel. That's called Athlean X. And I think I may not spell it right, but I think it's A T H L E N E X. Athlean X. Um, I'm a big fan of Jeff Cavalier. He he's solid. He um, of course he's mostly teaching people how to work out, but he's always talking about fixing your posture, learning how to lift without shoulder impingement. Um, learning how to do things like face pulls to reactivate the mid back after you've done a whole day of pushing exercises that tightened up your chest. He, he talks about upper cross syndrome. He talks about lower cross syndrome. He's totally on the Yonda train and he's, he's really smart and he's, and he, you know, he's great at helping people fix their, their diet. If they want to get lean, they want to try to lose some weight um, he, he gives great advice that I like to share with my patients as YouTube links, um, for, like I say, for like postural things. Um, so, you know, check out Athlean X on YouTube, lots of free material, excellent free material. I think he's a millionaire just from ad clicks alone because he's so popular legitimately i think he puts out a video a day 
for years and he gets thousands, hundreds of thousands of clicks, maybe millions. And I'm sure he's like living large just on, on his YouTube ad clicks, but he deserves it. I mean, check him out. He's like, he has like really great information and he gives away a lot of information for free. So if you're on a budget, you're a new acupuncturist. Hey, I've been there. I know what it's like. I started my practice on unemployment after being fired from my technology job. And I don't have rich parents to give me money. And I didn't have anybody. I'm not, you know, I was single, living with my dog. And I had to do it on my own. So, you you know, I know what it's like to start out a business with zero. And I was able to do it. Getting good results will assure your success. Um, it's not a marketing gig. It's not about selling packages. It's not about um, all those business strategies that people want to sell you on. It's about getting good results. If you get great results for your for your patients, they will tell their friends and their friends will come to you and then they will tell their friends and, and so on and so on. You know, um, it's, that's what it's about. So get great results if you want to be successful. And it's not about all the other stuff that people are telling you about. Because the reality is there are plenty of crappy acupuncturists out there get, making way more money than me because they're selling packages of 20 to senior citizens and expecting them to put it on a charge card. And, you know, if that's how, if that's how they want to do things, you know, fine. I let them, you know, cause they're probably not getting, you know, if they're not getting good results, they just better be good at marketing. Um, I'm the opposite. I don't sell packages. I don't pressure anybody. I'm, I may accidentally cut them off too soon, assuming they're not getting good results and wanting to be absolutely honest with them that I don't see the results that I was expecting and I don't want to pressure them for, you know, further treatments if they don't feel like they're, they're um, wanting to, you know, that's, I have those conversations and it's not, you know, I don't like it. Um, but I have to always be honest with my patient. If I'm, if I'm treating them for something really tough, like maybe the nerve, maybe their nerve got damaged and I'm treating and I'm not seeing any results. I, I don't want to pressure that person to keep coming. I, I'm going to tell them, you know, I don't know if we're going to be able to ever get this nerve back to firing. Right. You know, a lot of times you do by the way, but when it's not happening, I, I, I don't, I don't want to be somebody telling a senior citizen to come and pay cash um, to keep coming back for something that I don't think is getting better. Um, I'm always way up front on that sort of thing. And I, and like I said, I don't sell packages. I don't get them to commit to 10, 20 treatments. I ask them verbally to expect for something like that nerve, you know, like five to seven treatments to see if we're going to get results. You know, that's all I ask is like, don't give up before we've had five to seven. But if, if at that point we're not seeing it, like I'm, I'm the first to tell them, I, you know, I don't want I don't want you to feel pressure to keep coming. I don't know that we're getting the result I was hoping. So, uh, so, you know, so I'm not rich and, um, and that's okay with me because I, you know, I, I started my own business. I, I'm self-employed. I, I live off of my, um, my, you know, income from that. And, and, I you know, I get, excellent results for people that makes them extremely happy. And that is the, the real pay for me. Um, so I digress. If you're, if you're, if you're starting your practice and you're struggling, it's okay. Get great results and you will not be struggling. And then if you're, if you're way better at business than me, then you're going to be super rich because then you've got the combo of great results and great business skills. And you're going to be like, you know, worldwide, but, um, but if you're just getting started, learn the orthopedics from the experts who have already done it. And they put this extensive, extensive information out there from acupuncturists. You want to learn things like needling skills and electric stem protocols and things like that. Post-treatment things. And you want to learn from acupuncturists. You want to learn the needle stuff. 
but you already went to school and you did learn a lot of the needle stuff. Now you just need to maybe adjust your locations to motor points from the Chinese acupuncture points. And that's what Aldo Perotto is going to help you do. That's what live courses are going to do. Doing a live course with, with me and Dan Dominguez or somebody else is going to help you with your, your point location. Um, learning the electric stem protocols that we like to do for different things. That's always going to be helpful. That's what I'm trying to help you with. But, um, but, you know, when it comes to learning all the other orthopedic stuff, there's so many experts out there who are not acupuncturists. And if you find somebody that you kind of jive with, you really like them, you really like their style, go with that. You can, you translate what they tell you into an acupuncture treatment, you know? Um, so I guess that's, uh, that's my rant for the week. Um, so I'll put the links to Brookbush Institute, Stop Chasing Pain, and Athlean X into the copy, uh, the little description of the podcast, so you can scroll down and check those out for yourself. Okay, um, have a great week. I will talk to you soon. Mm-hmm.